there's so much industry buzz, meeting expectations and sort of staying popular for more than six months is, is hard work. They are four sisters. They do dress in 70s clothes. The lead singer is the drummer. They have a tough sound. The, the bass player is tiny. You know, this is what's really unique about Stonefield. Well, putting aside the fact that they're four sisters, um, you know, come from a country town, when you strip all that, all that superficial stuff away, you've still got a great rock and roll band there. The only music they were really exposed to through their school years were their parents' record collection, which I've seen, and it's everything from Frank Zappa, Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac. It is hard when you've sort of grown up listening to all those records, but I mean, their influences are quite varied, like Frank Zappa sounds very different to, to Deep Purple. You know, the girls, had, they had a passion, but you don't really know about talent until they really start learning to play that instrument. So it was within the first year where you really start to see it shine. There's just a uniqueness about their energy in the songs. To hear people that young making music that good is, you know, makes me kind of go, wish I was that good at that age. You know, for the first time, it was great to see four women playing music together who were great musicians, and I just thought, this is a band that probably won't get judged on their gender, but their sound. You know, these girls, not only can they play pretty well, you know, they have that, that thing going where they're girls. There's not many girls trying to pull off that sound. I also thought that they would be a band that would inspire other girls to pick up their instruments and start playing in rock and roll bands. In fact, I think they were the first band that I said, you've got to go back and do an encore. And they said, we only know Purple Haze. And I said, get out there, play Purple Haze. I think the toughest thing for them is growing up in this kind of weird spotlight where because of their age and because of their the sex and because of their, the fact that they're four sisters, people are going to question the, the novelty aspect of what they're doing. A lot of people are going to judge them and say, you know, oh, they're all girls, it was a lucky break and stuff, and that plays a part. But at the end of the day, you know, and I've said it to the girls, when they get up on stage and do their thing, people will just eat their words. I'd like to see that, to see Stonefield, you know, take it slower than a lot of other bands and just, you know, do things on their own terms. I just look for them to evolve and stick true to what they believe in. And, you know, the basis of what they're doing at the moment, I think, is really great. You know, it's still a gamble. I mean, we're not, we're not there yet, but I know we're on the right track. I think there's no reason why this band can't be an international success, you know. There's nothing quite like them in the world right now. Their sound is is something that could reach the masses. If they keep growing, then the world's their oyster, really. This is it for them. Everything, this is it. Their future is this.